So in video 8 you learnt how to set up a database quite simply, how to add new records and how to view them. Uh, so if I run it again, you can see that we've added in bananas, tomatoes and coconuts. So if I go back, it says where true at the moment. So basically saying where there's a record. Now if I remove this true and change it to food table, and what I can do is say item, I want to get the current value from it and I can say what it's equal to and I can change that so I'm going to put speech marks to coconut so now when I run it it's going to show me all the coconuts I could if I wanted as well say where food table item get equal I could change that to show me any bananas as well but that doesn't work because you can't have a coconut and a banana at the same time you'd have to use an or or, or function there alright so what I could do is do another one which says where food table item get not item, quantity get equals two run that there's no items so I could change it to a three any coconuts with three so I can see there's three coconuts now if I wanted to say remove this row what I could do instead of posting it to the wall is I could cut that and what I could do is go to food table okay and I could delete that row if I wanted so if I didn't want that I could delete it however if I wanted to update the item so I could go item set I could change the name now to coconuts instead so when I run this now that's going to change to coconuts I'll run it once go back get rid of this and just change it to true get rid of this and I just want to get rid of that and just show food table post the wall so now you watch, you can see coconut has changed to coconuts and it was the last item edited. So you can play around with it, you can post a wall, you can edit the current item, there's lots you can do with adding and deleting records. So I'll just show you one more time, you can say where food table, item, get the current value, what's it equal to, so I want to find something that is a banana so let me just change that banana let's put my speech mark there and that's only showing banana and it's two at the moment so what I could do is before I post it to the wall I could set so I'm going to set it to free food table quantity set I'm going to set it to 8 before I post it to the wall so if I run it there we go it's updated it so have a play around with databases they're quite simple to follow uh, use lesson 8 as a starter and lesson 9 should help fill in the gaps